Hi folks, Colin here. This uh, menagerie is Ollie, Ella and Max. Max is a little bit human shy, so we're doing some socialization. These guys are hanging around. Ella's a little bit um, uh, human shy as well, but uh, Ollie will hang around quite nicely. Now what we're gonna do, we've just finished installing a dog fence here on a half an acre. We're gonna tell you about how to lay out the wire on the dog fence. So if you ever ask that question of yourself, I'll do a couple of drawings. I'll put this handsome man down, there we go. And I'll do a couple of drawings for you. Things to remember, um, there's different designs you can do for your dog fence. And we have a nice list on our website. You can click on each of those and have a look at how they work. Uh, so first up, the full dog fence. That one there, it, it kind of starts out, if you're gonna lay the wire out, start at the transmitter in a shed, go out to the boundary, go around. If you wanna know how much wire to use, you can click on the link and see how much wire you're gonna have to calculate. Go all the way around the property, and then come back to the transmitter. Then you can do internal loops as well. So if you've got a garden bed here, you can run the wire down the fence, go to the garden bed, go around there, come back, and the dogs can walk across these two wires. Remember that. The dogs can get across these two sections because it cancels the signal out. Um, the next one we're going to look at is the duck across the front. We invented these cool names as well, by the way. So if your whole property's there, and then you've got your house in the middle of the property when you're laying out your dog fence wire. If your house is there and you've got a couple of fences there, if you want to stop the dogs getting out the front door, you can lay your wire from the um, from the shed or the power point out of the weather undercover, go around the property and then all the way around the back of the property and then duck across the front of the property. Now that means the dogs can't get into the front yard and they can't run through the front of the property to, uh, to get out as well. Uh, the next one we'll have a look at is the hourglass. This is one of my favorites. It gives you the best of both worlds, but you have to be careful to keep the wires separated as you go. So if you have your property, I'm getting all tangled up with me pens here. Where are me dogs gone as well? Come on guys, come on. Okay, if that's your house, and you have your house in the middle, the property. You might have a fence coming across here. If you run your, if you run your wires around the property, uh, that's not one. Uh, this is the one I'm looking for. You run your wire from the transmitter to the boundary, go all the way around the property. But when you get to here, if you run this wire either at the bottom of the fence, then come to the top, or come across like that, then go across the front of the property like this the dogs are confined to this area, and then if they come out the front door with you, they can actually stay in this area, but they can't get from the back to the front unless you let them out. So if you've got a dog that you want them to have a, a bit of gardening time with you in the front of the property, and you don't want them to run out of the gate, then uh, you, this is a very good design. Now, my next favorite one, which is fantastic for small properties, if I turn the page again, if we've got a small property, I'll try and do this three dimensionally and we have a fence going around the property. Okay, if you can imagine that is your property in the backyard, that's your fence. It might be a color bond fence, which we're fine with. You can read about the color, how we, uh, how well we operate with color bond and color bond roofs and fences, because quite often it's not a very good combination. When you want to keep the dog in the backyard and you have a small area, you don't want to put one wire around the bottom because the radio signal will come in too far and it will cut off the dog's play area. So that's the only area the dog can play. A lot of systems will do a very big radio signal. Ours can be turned down very small. That's why I like this one. You run our wire to the top of the fence and you'll read about how it's the high density polyethylene. Run it around the top of the fence of the property, then drop it to the ground, come into the property here if you need to, to stop the dog access through this area run the wire back along the bottom of the fence, that's called the double loop. So you can cut the dog off and just keep him in the backyard. But here's the thing, you can have a small radio signal around the bottom, so the dog's not in a good position to uh, jump the fence, and then, that's pretty cool, and then uh, there'll be a small radio signal around there, give you dog-free garden beds around the base of your property, but if the dog is not in a good position to jump, if he does, there'll be a small radio signal at the top of the fence as well. So you're giving the dog maximized play area 
without cutting, uh, without allowing them to dig under the fence or go to the top because you've got a radio signal at the top. So we're very good at being able to do that with our smaller systems. So if you'd like some information about how to install these, you can fill in the form and see the training and you'll go to the private training section as well. Garden beds, this is really cool. If I have a garden bed here and a garden bed here and I want to run, keep the dogs off these garden beds, uh, but I need the dogs access through this area here, I can run the wire from the transmitter touching together, uh, run wire from here, go around this garden bed, then run the wire underground here, go around this garden bed, and then come back along here and around that garden bed and then return back to the transmitter and then there's your transmitter blocking the signal. The signal is actually running in this direction on its journey, goes around the, 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 uh, the garden beds and then when it comes back it's heading in that direction. North and south neutralise each other if they're touching together. Then you can manipulate the distance of the radio signal by moving the wires apart. So the distance here is equal to the distance there. In theory, you'll get that, but you'll be able to manipulate the distance of the radio signal, which solves a lot of problems with radio signals bouncing around. Okay, that's great. That's a, a little bit about how to lay out the wire for the dog fence. Have a look at some of the other videos, particularly about the quality of the wire, the regulated power supply, which allows us to do very small radio frequencies, and the FM frequency, which means it's not going to bounce around and cause problems around the property. Um, give us a call, 1300 the dog, 1300 843 364. Thank you for sticking around, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.